Blink. Nothing does it like cast iron. That's why <laughs> cast iron is always regarded as the best. That's why grandma held on to her old black cast iron skillet like nothing else. Truly heirloom quality cookware that holds the heat like no other. But hang on a minute, we're forgetting all the bad stuff because cast iron, well, it's a pain in the neck. When you've washed it, you're gonna dry it. If you don't dry it properly, it's gonna rust. Cast iron is a pain in the neck because it's not easy to clean. You certainly can't put it in the dishwasher. Cast iron, folks, you might need to use to season it or you have to use certain things to make it so easy. What if there was a way to make cast iron better than ever. What if there was a way to make cast iron perfect for 2019? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this story began in January of this year. HSN launched their Kitchen HQ proprietary cast iron line. It's real cast iron, but with a twist. This has true non-stick inside, and folks, this is dishwasher safe. No more shrugging shoulders of who wants to do the cleanup. You're going to put it in the dishwasher. Oh, but today's special tonight, we've got a lot to wow you with. I want to tell you, it's a two-piece collection. You're going to get your four-quart casserole pan. Think soups and stews and chilies. Everything, you name it, you can do it in here. Helper handles. This is all one-body construction. No rivets, so nothing to come loose. And, of course, this is your lid. The lid stays in position but flips over to become your grill pan. That's why we're going to see it some steaks and we're doing pork medallions we're doing everything colors we've got a color for everybody from red to teal to beautiful rose and plum and taupe and silver gorgeous colors and a gorgeous price when i say cast iron you say five hundred dollars when i say cast iron you say that fancy schmancy french brand that typically we only get on a very special occasion mr margill You've seen him on TV for years. You've seen him on Facebook with Mark's on the grill, his brand new show. This is a gentleman that knows a thing or two about the kitchen. <laughs> and Mark, you are a part and parcel of this game-changing launch. It's been unbelievable. I've never read so many reviews of people just jaws on the floor, yep. chin down. Yep. They can't even believe what they're seeing because for the first time back in January, and I get to go do it again tonight, I get to talk about not only cast iron, which I love to cook on because nothing compares to the taste and quality of cast iron food. Right. But we're also talking about non-stick, dishwasher-safe cast iron, and that's what it's all about. So we've got our salmon, uh, our salmon, our tuna. <laughs> it's late. I've been on vacation. <laughs> we've got our tuna finishing off, our cheese sauce inside that we're going to add our macaroni to. And I'm going to tell you nice. something. A lot of what you're going to see today is enemies of cast iron. And if you've ever worked with it, you know what I mean. Cast iron requires a seasoning, right. all right? You've got to season that pot, or yeah. it's going to do nothing but stick, rust, and get awful. Right. Well, here's the problem with seasoning. Seasoning is temporary, and it comes off, which means every time you cook your meal, if you're not super extra careful, then you got to cook your pan. Right. It seems goofy to me, to be honest with you, all right? And that's why in the early 80s, we kind of got away from cast iron when they invented all that kind of non-stick cookware that we see today today, which, listen, is, is great stuff, but it's like that kid's toy that you make little pictures on. Yeah. You turn it upside down and shake it when you're done, <laughs> yeah. right? There's no character. There's no love. There's no life. It just gets the, the job same. done. Yeah. It's not the same. No one's going to fight you for your copper pans. No one's saying, let's run to grandma's for dinner because she just <laughs> pulled the copper out, all right? That's what cast iron does to you. It or does for you. It adds that dimension that we're not used to. So I'll tell you what, my tune is going to finish up there. Let me go ahead and exchange my mac and cheese for my monkey bread in the fridge. You got to see this. This <gasps> is incredible. Bread. Okay. <laughs> Well, what's neat about this, Adam, is the fact that you have so much versatility. Is this ready to go? It is. All right. There's so much versatility with this cookware, with this pan, and with this grill lid. Yep. It's almost out of this world. So now this is going to be bubbly and hot, so yes. be careful. Okay. This is one of my favorite dishes because it's one of the ones my son loves to make. So have a look here, okay? Oh. This is monkey bread, and this does not behave like a cast iron pan. Are you seeing this? I'm actually cleaning out all of the sugars and wow. all of the nuts. 
everything in there is just wiping clean like it's nothing, which is beautiful. No we're, we're seeing it, but we might not be believing it, <laughs> but it's true. And I love the word that Mark just used. It doesn't behave. It doesn't behave like a traditional cast iron pan. Exactly. All the benefits, but none of the heartache. And that's the thing. You know what I mean? Cast iron, mm, wow. Burning sugar's fun. <laughs> Cast iron, while fantastic to work with, really can be that, that pain in the butt to clean. So right. watch this, you guys. You want to talk easy cleanup? Let's show you with a little bit of cheese right in the pan. And again, these are enemies of cast iron, which yeah. you're seeing. Let me go ahead and get our tuna out of there. Okay. We're going to go ahead and serve that. Tuna is a delicate fish. You don't want to use that on anything that's going to go ahead and stick on you. Let's go ahead and just give that a little Beautiful bit. Beautiful tuna. Oh, oh mango nice. chutney on the front there. Tropical, great for and summertime. We'll, we'll do that thing that everybody thinks is fancy on the front. <laughs> All right. So, guys, there's that quick, nice dish that you can serve up right like that. So let's yeah. just keep the party going. Okay. <laughs> What's next on the menu? Well, we're going to do some pork medallions, which okay. are a lot of fun. Now, you're not going to see me use butters and oils tonight. Right. And if I do happen to sneak one in there, it's for taste and flavor, certainly not necessity. Okay, good right? to know. What ends up happening with uh, cast iron, even if you go ahead and you season the bejeebas out of the thing, what ends up happening is you still have to be very careful, and you have to create what's called a release point. Okay. If you've ever worked with like enamel coated cast iron, things like that, yeah. you've got to learn something called a release point. What that means is that, that that window between it's not done and I don't know what it is anymore, yeah. when it'll actually come off the plate. Right. And that's the secret. That's what you need to learn with the other types of cookware. With the beauty of this, yeah. you get that taste, flavor, and dimension of cast iron cookware. And if you've ever gone to a four star restaurant and yeah. had that steak, yeah. you know what dimension I'm talking about. Okay? Right, right, right. But right. you get it without all the extra cleanup and everything. And we want to talk about dishes. Uh, that oh you can God. do on your stovetop, because you've got the weight in that grill pan lid, yeah. you've got the ability to create that weighted seal so you can do perfect braising, perfect Dutch oven dishes. We're gonna let this one finish up, you guys, and that's the beauty of it, is that cooking uh, on low in cast iron is out of this world because, again, it's the same construction all the way up the sidewall. Yeah. So the cast iron that's here is the same as the cast iron at the bottom, and you can have a look how we put it together here. We've given you a nice, deep, deep, deep base to work with, which is beautiful. That lid that grill pan lid sits right on top, gives you that nice seal. It's four quarts, so it's family size, which is beautiful. And remember, uh, the outside with the silicone polyester is tougher than your grill, okay? Okay. okay. Uh, that color's not going anywhere. And I'll tell you, we recommend using... Um, silicone, wood, things like that. But listen, if you want to use metal, this is cast iron. You have that choice. So when it comes time for this. things to not stick, Things are not gonna stick. This is cast iron you're looking at. I know people who've worked with cast iron, especially grandmas who've gotten that wooden spoon out every time we've taken the, <laughs> the, the, the uh, seasoning off. You're watching this going, no way, man, that's crazy. And when I keep talking about that dimension we lose, come on over here, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I mean, okay? That flat bottom non-stick cookware, all right? When you turn that food over, it's just, it's, it's flat. Sure that's it what is. it is. Yeah. When you make cast iron, here's what happens. They take sand, Look at right, that. and they make your mold. Right. Now they pour the cast iron in and then that mold gets broken off. So just like your fingerprints and a snowflake, there's no two alike. But here's <laughs> what I want you to see. No matter where I turn this meat over, those grill marks are the same. Mark. And that's how cast iron pulls the heat. That's how it handles the heat. That's how it cooks the food. But what happens is because you've got the, that cast iron, because you've got those hills and valleys that are created by the sand that makes the mold, yeah. instead of that flat surface, yeah. whenever those natural fats and sugars drip down and hit it, they fire back up and right. they create these incredible grill marks, that incredible crust, and that taste that you can't duplicate anywhere except right here, and that's the beauty of it. Well, I, I hope we're tempting you to do this. I'm gonna go over the colors so you can see, because we have a fabulous selection of eight colors tonight, Beautiful. all exclusive to HSN. Um, this is your new casserole pan, it's your new grill pan, it's two in one. It's a one day only special. This is our beautiful rose. Um, sorry, no, this is taupe. This, I'm gonna show you the rose and the taupe together. Hold on one second. This is what we did in the last hour. I think this is gonna help anybody who's making a decision. They're very similar. Rose is at the top and then taupe is below it. Okay, so rose is on the top, taupe is below it. When Mar uh, Mark says it's real, real cast iron. This isn't faux cast iron, right. sort of like cast iron. It's real cast iron. Okay, so there's the rose and that fabulous taupe. We also have silver, which is not a gray. It's a really lively silver. 
This is plum, also limited tonight. Let's jump to the front row. This is gonna be our black. I really like this blue. It's, a, it's an energetic blue, a very high-end blue, a classy blue. This is gonna be your teal turquoise, and then of course the red. I want you to think about that very high-end, expensive cast iron brand in those high-end gourmet culinary stores. And I want you to compare the two, because that one, does not do what this is able to do. It doesn't behave, there's that word again, right. like this is able to do. Now this is a much shorter presentation. There's only 10 minutes left. It's the last presentation of the evening. Oh, I see what you're doing again. You've got you know, everybody excited. We gotta try and get these in here. This is just such a fun dish. You know, one of the nice things about, uh, you know, being able to get into this kind of cookware at such an affordable price compared to what's out there, yeah. is the fact that you can take the simplest dishes now, the simplest meals, the ones that you've been making for years, and give them an added kick like you actually wouldn't believe. So we're gonna go ahead, give you these chips in there. Let's get there. We're, we're all moving a little faster right now because we got this abbreviated <laughs> presentation. Let's the chicken. Oh, hello. <laughs> all right, so here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna take this for me, just like this. Yes. All right, walk back with me to the yes, oven. Yes, yes. And here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna slide that in. Okay. While I go ahead, right down there. Okay. And uh, oh, you know what, right up here. How about that? No, right, I was there we go. Say. And what I'm gonna do, Adam, is I'm gonna take out the casserole that I need, the casserole dish to make our Dutch baby. Okay. Now I'm gonna do this quick so we can kind of get it out here okay. uh, before the show ends. So you wanna preheat your pan. This is a German baked pancake. And this and the bread you're gonna see in a second is one of these types of dishes and cookings that this type of cookware is designed designed for, sought after, and spent huge money on because of the way it performs. Well right. now, Kitchen HQ and HSN have given you a way to be able to do this but without that incredible expense that goes along with it. So imagine being able to create all of these dishes you see on these channels and foods that you love, yeah. like, ready for this? Wait for it. I'm gonna hang out for this. Here we go. You gotta see this one, here it is. Three, two, one. Yeah, yeah. Here's what we're looking at, guys. When it comes time for fresh baked bread in a cast iron casserole pan, you have no idea what you're missing unless you've done it. So go ahead, take that second or two, and, and, and just throw these dishes together. They don't take long. It's a matter of having the right tools to cook them with. So when that bread's all done, go ahead and grab that. We're gonna rip that right out of there. Look and now, for our beautiful stew that we're doing our stew meat for over there for our next presentation, go ahead and serve it in here. Now, if you've got the chef hands, go ahead and hold this goofy hot bread that just came out of the oven that's removing my fingerprints as, as we I speak. As I said, Superman, right I picked here. this up and thought to myself, Mark, that was a horrible idea, but you gotta finish Finish. You gotta put Too that carrot in. There we go. Let's burn the other <laughs> fingers and perfect. Guys, that's what we're talking about when we get these stitches done. Are you kidding with that? I love it. All right, our pork medallions are all done. Let me go ahead and bring these out for a second, just like that. Did, did, did that uh, Dutch oven got in there, right, uh, Kat? Okay, good. This is perhaps the best demonstration of any cookware I've ever seen in my life. These guys are working miracles out here. I love it. Um, seven minutes all left. We, we've done our two, and we've done our fabulous pork medallions. We're doing the Dutch baby. We're doing uh, the monkey bread. I mean, we're doing so much with this. You've got to get this home. We launched the original fry pan set in January, it went on to be a huge customer pick with over 300 reviews. People love it. Real cast iron really goes in the dishwasher. Real cast iron that really holds its heat, just like you ever imagined, but this has real non-stick. You don't need to baby it. You're not worried about it. There's no maintenance issues. This does everything. We're frying as We're well. We're actually gonna fry in it as well. We turn this up a little bit. Now what's great about frying in these is the fact that they have these high side walls that bring that heat up evenly. So if you're doing fried chicken or if you're doing uh, uh, broccoli cheddar balls like we're doing here out yeah. of this world. Now that uh, lid, remember, not only is it your grill pan lid, yeah. but it's also your brazing lid. Okay. And what a brazing lid does is it gives you the weight necessary to sit on top of a pan and allow the condensation to come oh, up and drip back down into your food. And what yeah. that means is it takes with it all of the tastes and flavors. So when you've got a beautiful jambalaya that you want to serve up, we, we experienced some of this on our, on our adventures this summer. Yeah. But I'll tell you, some of these foods, and I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just, into, we're abbreviated here tonight, so I'm just gonna move this aside a little bit. And I don't know if you can see 
inside. But look at that. Yeah, there's we no see sticking. It. No. There's no cleaning, which means there's no cleanup. Come on next door here to what okay. we did with our pan. We're deglazing this pan now. That might seem like just a uh, silly thing, and you know everybody deglazes their pans. But here's what you have to remember. One of the things again that we lost when we went to that non-stick cookware yeah. was our ability to create dishes with these really nice reductions in seasonings. Because what ends up happening is this is designed to pull those little bits off the bottom of the pan, right? And when you're working with basically glass, there are no little bits to pull up. Right. So you want to make sure the cast iron is giving you not only that experience, but you want to make sure, uh, yeah, go ahead there. I'm going to do that one as well, Kat. So not only are you getting this reduction in this beautiful sauce, but this nice. is what I really want you to see. Because listen, we're going to pick our dishes to do on air. Yeah. Whatever. You don't necessarily eat like this, but no matter what you're cooking, that you're going to appreciate. You're going to appreciate that cleanup no matter what it is, right? And if you're using cast iron and you deglaze something with wine like we've just done, normally you would have to go ahead and re-season your pan. But you don't have to do that this time around. Right. Because our pan doesn't need to be seasoned to keep it non-stick. And if you want to talk about non-stick properties, let's go ahead and really put this to the test, guys. Okay. I just put sugar in there yeah. by itself. Yes, you And did. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn it up. We're going to leave that as it is. Works on induction or any different stove on top. Induction, Take exactly. it out to the grill if you want to do it. Exactly. So let's go ahead. We're, we've got our... Uh, our beef stew going. Uh, we're going to get our sugar melting. We've got our fryers frying. We've got our jambalayas jambalaying. So let's see what's happening in the It's oven. all going on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's the fun part of it, you guys. Our Dutch oven is good. And I got to tell you, between all the colors and everything that you're able to get, it's absolutely outstanding because it's usually that choice that we're all missing. You know what I mean? So guys, this is your yeah. macaroni and cheese. Oh yeah. Check this out. Hello. Now you want us to make this fresh and live and quick. Yes. And when you're working with the right tools, the jobs are not hard at all. So when you want to do some of these really fun, oh, the awesome, lovely, beautiful dishes. And again, <laughs> it's not the mac and cheese. It's this part here. Ooh. Have a look. Have you ever tried to scrub a pan after making mac and cheese? There's no <laughs> scrubbing here. It simply wipes out. And again, if that wiping out is too much, by all means, just throw it in the dishwasher, you guys. You can see the bottom of that pan. It just simply pulls away. And that's the beauty of working with our cast iron. There's never any fighting with the cleanup. There's never any, is it going to come clean? When will it come clean? How will this ever come clean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So again, on this part here with the sugar, we're working with the casserole dish itself. And as we're doing that, I want you to notice those high sidewalls. That's important. Listen, it gives you so many more options. Skillets are important. We all want to have our skillets in our lives for the quick, uh, you know, eggs and steaks. Sure, we're going to sure, see that in sure. a second coming up. But when it comes time for these dishes that require, you know, a little bit more imagination, maybe you're feeding a few more people, yeah. maybe you want a few more options, yeah. then absolutely, that four-quart deep side is really going to help. And that lid that comes with it, I think that's what people really need to realize as well. This is two pans. This is not one pan. Two pans. This is two pans that you're getting. You're getting the grill lid, which again, is sold separately. Have a look out there. That can yeah. cost a fortune. Easy by right? itself. Exactly. So we're going to let our caramel finish down here. Well, here's what's cool about this. You would never think to make caramel in a cast iron pan. No, no. You would use copper. Sure. That's traditionally what it is because yeah. of that flat surface and it doesn't grab, stick, or hold. Right. Right? Well, when you can use cast iron, you add that dimension and beauty of cast iron cooking into this uh, type of cooking vessel, holy moly, your results get better, not only, but the jobs get faster, quicker, simpler, and easier. This is not cookware that you'll buy tonight and then rebuy exactly. in two years. It's not cookware that's gonna let you down. It's not cookware that's gonna cause you hassle or heartache. It's cookware that genuinely, and it's refreshing to be able to say this, it's cookware that will stay with you and your family perhaps forever. Well, and that's exactly right, Adam. It's you know, an we investment. Talked about, we talked about in our in our last airing, uh, we have one heirloom in our family, and right. it's a cast iron pan, and it's been in our family for the past 200 years came over with great 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 grandma from scotland and i gotta tell you something when you cook in that pan number one it's beautiful to cook in because you know that your family's history has been written in that pan but the coolest thing is or actually i should say the the coolest thing about this pan compared to it is when i cook meals in our kitchen hq cast iron yeah. i don't have the cleanup right when i cook meals in that 200 year old cast iron pan even though it's holding up it is a lot of work. It's so a have a look here. I want you to watch the caramel come off oh. the back of the pot as we pour it. And that's what's important. The fact that it just rips off the back of that pot and pan means that there's nothing in there for you to clean up. Wow. So have a look here. Here is your live before and after. 
that is caramel in a pan that's just ripping right away. And those are the kind of results you don't see anywhere except Kitchen HQ uh, nonstick cast iron cookware. In fact, we'll carry that right over to one of the simpler dishes you'll ever do. How about uh, chicken pot pie for an army? All you gotta do is take a couple of cans of your favorite cream soup, and then some of those, uh, uh, like a tube of those um, biscuits. E-biscuits, right? yes. And all you do is put the biscuits on top of the soup mm -hmm. in your casserole pan, put everything in the oven for about 20 minutes, and you've got a hot, beautiful meal for at least eight to 10 people. Easy. And the beautiful part of it is no cleanup when you're done. And that's just, that's what it's all about. No cleanup when you're done. I am so impressed, and I hope you are as well, folks. All the colors, rose, plum, taupe, red, blue, teal, turquoise, or silver, or black are available. Two pans uh, for one price, best value of the entire year, real cast iron. Not kind of like real cast iron. Exactly. With all the things that you ever dreamt of it happening. Red has been the most popular in this hour, but plum, taupe, and rose will be the first to sell out. You gotta do this. You absolutely have to bring this home. I, I have never a seen a more comprehensive demonstration out here in the decade that being HSN. I mean, really remarkable. Oh, it is ready. We're wrapping this one up, Mark. All right. But we're gonna Let's wrap it up with our Dutch baby. Quick, quick, quick you Here gotta go. see this. You gotta see this. This is amazing. This is the grand finale. Do it. You, you saw us cook this live. Again, those uh, cast iron sidewalls help that Dutch baby climb up the side, keep everything fresh, everything even, and you've got a perfect dessert in a matter of minutes. Look at this. Again, look. with zero cleanup. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm telling you now, you'll be able to do that. So he just did that in a few minutes. If you want some inspiration, we're recommending this this evening. It's the, uh, the Southern Cast Iron cookbook i keep wanting to say the great southern cast iron cookbook well it is great uh, 188 pages or so lots of fabulous images and pictures great inspiration and comforting family recipes for everybody to enjoy we have a special on tonight as well on the spice mill from the exclusive kitchen hq stainless steel which is nice in the kitchen especially when you're handling things let's say like raw chicken um, this is two chambers to hold both things so your salt and pepper or whatever you want it to be you can change the courses of the grind and you've got your two buttons at the top. It's of course electric. It does it all for you. Order that one with $10 off on five flexible payments. Uh, go to hsn.com to find out more about it. We are just 14 minutes away from our birthday surprise to round out this hour. And believe me, it's a good one. But we want to go back to the beginning. We want to go back to that fateful day in January when we really reinvented the wheel. Tonight we're going to offer our best deal ever ever an eight inch and an 11 inch fry pan for one low price of $62.90. You get the eight inch and the 11 inch in your choice of wonderful colors, all the benefits, the entire story that we have just been talking about for the past 20 minutes applies to these as well, right? Exactly, so uh, listen guys, here's the thing with this, all right? We have access to uh, really cool food budgets, all the cookware in the world, <laughs> right? So you gotta wonder why I would start this whole thing with an egg. <laughs> Right. Because I gotta tell you something, this is the first thing that grandma would go after you with for, with a wooden spoon for cooking in her cast iron pan sure. was an egg without butter or oil. And that is really what I want you to see right off the bat, that we're cooking without the butter and the oil. And we're gonna talk about the nonstick properties with uh, a couple of neat little demonstrations. Maybe you saw our last little show there. Yeah. But I really want you to see what this is gonna do for you. And now, this is one of the perfect things to do it as a steak. And I've said it before, okay? Yeah. No one's gonna fight you for your, your copper pan. You're never gonna see a restaurant that advertises are making steaks on copper pans, yes. but you're going to see ones that say they're making steaks on heavy cast iron. And guys, here's why. When we switch to the, all the nonstick cookware we know today, this is the dimension oh that we lost gosh. right here. The ability for those fats and sugars to drip down into the uh, mountain range yeah. that is the bottom of a cast iron pan and flash back up to create that incredible caramelization on all those beautiful tasting flavors. So I, what I'm gonna do here is, you know, every time it says, uh, you know, the directions to make a great steak, yeah. first thing it says is get a heavy cast iron pan, which we have. Then you're gonna add, like I said, a little bit of garlic butter. Uh, uh, if you're still on that resolution bandwagon from January when we launched it, <laughs> 
it, skip it, but you know what? For most of us, we're off it. <laughs> didn't <laughs> last long. Didn't last long. We're going to go ahead and put that in there just like that. We got a little shallots around here, some salt and pepper. And the bottom line is this is what's going to give you those incredible tastes and flavors. We've got our sugar taken care of there. Yeah. And then, just for fun, I want to make sure that uh, I've got the right stuff here because I do want you to see this. All right. We talk about nonstick. We talk about doing things that you wouldn't normally be able to do in these pans. And I'll tell you something. The last thing you're going to reach for when you're making a crepe yeah. is a cast iron pan. Right. But I want to make one for you in here because I really want you to see the versatility of it and how it works, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, and we'll get that in the pan right there. And these, by the way, are the perfect sizes. These are your go-to sizes all the time. They're not too big, they're certainly not too small. The workhorses. These are the workhorse pieces. This right. is what's gonna get the job done for you. So let's go ahead and give this a little tip. And again, all you're gonna do is rebutter that steak, just like that. Yeah. And you know, cooking steaks is great, pork chops is great, you're gonna get that cool taste and flavor. But what's amazing about these pans to be, and again, if you're used to cast iron, if you've worked with it, what you're gonna see next is out of this world. So let's go ahead and we'll set that steak there wow. just like that. And we're going to take some of our red wine and we're going to deglaze it. Okay. Going to deglaze that pan. Again, the reason you deglaze a pan is to pull all of those little uh, bits off the bottom. Sure. That's the whole point. Now we got a couple things going here at once, so I want to make sure I've got everything all like right. it should be. So guys, have a look here. This is our crepe. Yep. All right. And I want you to watch this. This is all the enemies of cast iron. Right. <laughs> Sugars, milk solids, but watch. In a million years, would you ever think that you're going to make a crepe like that in a cast iron pan? Let me you fold really it again. Be. All right. And now, the crepe is one thing, but wait till you see something really kind of neat and exciting. All right. We got our, we, we flew in our whipped cream, <laughs> which is well, actually whipped air oh, now. No, oh, there, there we go. go. You can't have a dud whipped cream. Right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and put that there for now. There we go. But this is, this is so cool. You ready for this? On live television, I'm gonna show you how I can clean out a cast iron pan with chocolate and caramel. And you are seeing I, this live, by I, the way. I am mesmerized. <laughs> I don't know about you at home, I really am. I could watch this all night long. Watch this. The enemies of cast iron, right? Sugars, milk solids, high fructose corn syrups, and I'm using them to actually clean the pan out. When you wanna talk non-stick, when you wanna talk not having to season, when you are not going to talk not having to babysit, that is the way you do it, my friends, right? Uh, like bravo, that. I mean, <laughs> if that does not sell this, nothing ever will. Cast iron forever. Exactly. Cast iron for today, for tomorrow, and for the rest of your life. It's what grandma loved, it's what we all kind of love, but also love to hate because of all the babying, all the fear factors, the fact that you had to dry or perhaps it might rust. You never have to worry about this. It even goes in the dishwasher. And as Mark has proven time after time after time, when we say nonstick, this real cast iron is nonstick. And that's why it's a world first. Exactly. Our presentation is ending in seven minutes. It's a quick one. We're going to send you the eight inch and the 11 inch. Reduce shipping and handling. Choose black or red. Black or red. The red is just amazing. You've got the helper handle on there as well. People asking, is it heavy? Well, it's real cast iron. This isn't a look-alike or a kind of fake cast iron. It's real cast iron. Uh, oven safe up to 500 degrees. Induction safe. Any stovetop is fine. Notice this 8 inch is just adorable. I mean, seriously. You'll be using this every single day in the home. Absolutely. I'm fed up of throwing good money after bad. And for a lot of us, when it comes to fry pans, we buy fry pans for about 60 bucks, and yep. they last two minutes. Well, that's just it. You know, cookware nowadays is meant to be, and we've been conditioned to it. We've been told to get used to it. Pretty much disposable. Right. All right. It's Listen, true. quality cookware when we were kids, or not kids, a little bit younger, I mean, yeah. there were hundreds and hundreds of dollars a pan. Right. All right. But there was a reason for it. And the reason? You still have those pans. Okay. <laughs> I got to tell you something, man. It's more of a, uh, almost like a keeping up with the Jones things now. Uh, you know, cookware and things that you need to get and need to buy and need all this stuff. Have a look at what our grandparents had. And they had it forever and that's because it was cast iron cast iron is meant to have that years and years and years sure. of longevity in use okay and if you don't believe me just start looking in the history books we've been using cast iron for thousands of years it right. started out as a cauldron when we invented stoves we cut the legs off and then we had a skillet oh my from the gosh. skillet we did everything else but the bottom line is it's cast iron that means it's good for 500 degrees i don't care if you get there in the oven the grill a little bit lighter underneath it it doesn't matter it holds that heat and because it holds 
that heat. I don't have to cook everything on high. Right. Right? That thing cook where you get, I mean, you basically got to blast your food and yeah. scare the bejeebus out of it. <laughs> you can heat up your pan and then turn it down and cook reasonably, and you can cook at the proper time and the proper temperature. This is the right cookware, and it's finally the right price, and it's finally dishwasher safe. To get this type of quality, I mean, you know, similar cast iron, but not the benefits, mm -hmm. you are looking at hundreds of dollars Absolutely. potentially in stores. Hundreds of dollars. This has to go on that wish list, that bucket list, that one day list, the once upon a time list. This is forever. This is today. Hey, this can be yours right now for one flexible payment. We'll even ship it to you for reduced shipping and handling for the two fry pans that you will use day in and day out, that you won't have to worry about, that you can enjoy without all of the negativity that sometimes surrounded cast iron. Exactly. That won't frustrate you with this. Let's stop buying the other stuff and start buying the right stuff. And that's just it, you know what I mean? And these are, these are the pieces that are gonna give you those tastes that you want too, those tastes and flavors. When you go and you watch those shows on the cooking channels and cooking networks and food networks and things like that, yeah. you wanna recreate these tastes and flavors at home, I know you do, but one of the things that they have is the right equipment. And any time that they're talking about down-home cooking, yeah. southern cooking, real cooking, the, the from the heart cooking, the yeah. cooking that you're going to make for your family and your friends, grandma's cooking, cooking from our from from our past, it's on this. Yeah, that's what it's on, you guys. It's on cast iron yeah. and this is your opportunity to own cast iron that grandma never had because grandma had to scrub it and clean it and worry about it and what else she had to season it yeah constantly that's the thing too so guys watch this this is kind of fun we're uh we're just kind of doing everything quick today because we've got kind of a, a quick makeshift uh, uh presentation but have a yeah. look here next time you're having a party go ahead make that caramel and you're going to go ahead and coat the apples just like that and that creates the glue <laughs> to go ahead and build that up during the party for I your day. I want to be your best friend, Isn't Mark that great? Gale. As that sticks, everything, is, like I said, it just kind of sticks like glue. We'll let that harden. <laughs> That's super fun. It's a really neat way to do things. But the bottom line is you can do it in this pan now. You don't have to wait for a special pan, a different pan, uh, different equipment. That's the nice thing about cast iron. It's so versatile that no matter what it is you're looking to cook in, at breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts, special meals, anything like that, sliders, uh, grills, uh, what do we got here? We've got uh, Alfredo. We got shrimps and vegetables. Everything is on the table, you guys. And when it comes to proteins like steak, chickens, uh, pork, anything like that, yeah. unbeatable. You Nothing can't, better. You can't duplicate it. Well, we're thrilled that you're all loving this. Our casserole pan with the grill pan, which is our today's special. You could pick that up and get this to go along with it. They're going to work hand in hand. You're going to start building your collection. There's going to be more to come from Kitchen HQ over the coming months and coming years. This has already become a customer favorite with over 300 reviews and people saying it's simply the best cookware they've ever wanted yes, or sir. ever wished for in their entire lives. We're excited to put it in your hands so you get to see it as well. I mean, Mark, we've, we've proven time and time again that it is non-stick. Yep. You've shown us clearly that this is going to cook through better than anything else. Just the, the, the construction of these pans with the exactly. pouring spouts, the yeah, house let's handles. Let's, uh, let's walk you through one. Have I got a cool one here? Sure. Let's take you on a tour of the pan, okay? okay. To your point, uh, both sizes, the 8 and the 10, have that helper handle, which I got to tell you something, that really is, especially with cast iron, that is a necessity. It's got to be there. Make sure you use that. And and it is part of the pan. It's not welded or welded or riveted, right, which is right. beautiful. Same with your handle up here. It's not welded. It's not riveted. It's all one piece construction. When you have a look on the bottom, uh, you'll notice on your colored pieces, yeah. all of our flat, uh, flats are black, so you don't ever have to worry about discoloring or anything like Fabulous. that. Right? You've got sport, uh, pour spouts on either side, so it's ambidextrous. Learn that word on the <laughs> way here. And you've got that incredible non-stick interior. And it's not a coating that gets slapped on that's going to scratch off. That is molecularly bonded to the actual cast iron. Okay. So if you accidentally or whatever use a metal utensil or use it too hard, you may affect the appearance of it or it'll look from a little scratch like yeah. you would with any cast yeah. iron, but you will not affect the performance. And Adam, that's the magic. If you can't perfect the performance, then this pan is gonna be in your family for generations. So think about that. 
both of these pans pass down, pass down, pass down, creating uh, incredible meals along the way. I want to thank Mark and Kat and the entire Kitchen HQ team for tonight. This has been such an eye-opener to me. I've learned so much. I hope you have as well. I'm excited to get our brand new cast iron line home, unlike any other in the world. I want to invite you to connect with Mark. Absolutely. Go on Facebook and search Mark's on the grill. Mark, M-A-R-C-S on the grill. You'll see Mark. You'll get ac uh, access to Mark. He's always on there. He's brand new show. Um, there is so much excitement surrounding this and Mark is there to support you as is the entire HSN family. You cannot go into a store and find this line. Mark, final words from you, my friend. Non-stick dishwasher safe cast iron. I'll say it again. <laughs> Non-stick dishwasher safe cast iron. You got to get this home. Read the reviews. Add to it, please. You'll love them. We're making the impossible possible tonight. <laughs> and of course, with our biggest buy of the day, our casserole pan with the lid. The lid that turns into a grill pan. It does it all in all those wonderful eight colors. There's rose, there's plum, there's black, there's blue, there's silver, there's red, and there's taupe. A fabulous way to go. We were making everything tonight in there, and you will as well. As the weather, you know, goes from hot to cool, the soups, the stews, the casseroles, all the chilies, all the things that you can do, it's amazing. Okay, two more items, including a birthday surprise. You can't miss it, it's only 10 minutes away. See you in a second. go-to guide for our favorite fashion and accessory finds of the week. We have the best styles hand-picked just for you. Join us every Thursday night to see what made the list. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900. Discover a world of beauty like you've never seen before. Beauty Report is the insider's guide to getting gorgeous. Join me every Wednesday night for a beautiful new routine. Joan Boyce, and I wanted to say happy birthday, HSN. Carrie Milato, let me get this right here because we're talking about washing, straining, and prepping and storing your meals all in one step. That's right. Is that really true? That's so right. And it looks kind of cool, too. I really it love how futuristic it kind of looks. I know, it's looking like a spaceship. <laughs> okay, so this is our brand new item from Kitchen HQ. We're less than 10 minutes away from our birthday surprise. This comes in great colors, red, teal, plum, aqua, or blue. We're all about making life easier. And Carrie, this is doing just that. That is exactly it. And you're getting two, which is really exciting. So both of these are, your large one is 16 cups, your small one's eight cups, which okay. are two great sizes. When they are in this form, they are bowls. So they are serving bowls. So these can be prep bowls, serving bowls, whatever you want. They nest within each other, so I love that they stack just like that. But here's where they become otherworldly, <laughs> to stick with that theme. Uh, the sides actually fold up. So you see when that happens, it's got a flat bottom, so it'll sit on the bottom. But it's actually a strainer up at the top. So when I have, say, my pasta, my salad, uh, my fresh fruits, I flip it like this, oh I shake it 
out, I get all of my water out, and then I can leave it like this if I want to place it, say, in the refrigerator or on the table. When I'm ready to serve, if it's something hot especially, it has little feet on the side. So notice how it actually has feet that yeah, lift it yeah, up? Yeah. So this is how it goes straight from prepping to actually serving right on the table. So this is truly like that two-in-one and even sometimes a three-in-one if you actually want to use it to store. So maybe you made something early and you just want to place it in the fridge. You can do it just like that. Okay, I'm sold already and I bet you are as well. <laughs> it's the simple things in life, right? It's the easy things that can make a big, big difference to our time. And when we're in the kitchen, time is of the essence. We want it to be fast and easy. Um, so here's a great example. We just got some grapes from the grocery store. We're right. rinsing them off. Flipping it over, right? So we go to our straining effect and watch what's happening. We're actually straining those grapes right here in the same bowl. We didn't have to use, I, I don't know about you, but usually when in the kitchen, I'm using one thing for straining, one thing for the bowl yeah. to start, one thing to put it's it in the refrigerator. Process. Yeah, and then by the yeah. time you're done, you're like, what is all this? So yeah. now I'm done. I'm going to flip it back over. I'm going to take the sides and you see they have the little feet at the bottom and this can go straight to the table. Oh, fabulous. Or in essence, I like to wash the fruits and then put them in the refrigerator sure. so that you know they're washed. If they're in here, they've already been washed. They're not sitting in that plastic container that you got them in, which is right. not a right. good idea to keep your fruits in, by the way. I'm just trying to work out what color I'm going to buy because I'm sold already on these guys. <laughs> this is the two pack. Right. So this is going to be what I think we're calling the, is this the teal or the aqua? I think it's teal. So the teal, teal red, and plum. I think I'm going to get the teal. I do like that one. Um, this makes sense though, right? So hot pasta. So you just got done with your pasta. Why use a separate colander? You're going to close it like this. You're going to flip it over. You're going to strain it out all in the same bowl. So I had a lot of water in this one. <laughs> so I'm going to just shake it around a little bit. And by the way, then you can get a little aerobic. Uh, you I know, was gonna say, going to say, you got to work there. out the same I'm time. I'm like, woohoo. <laughs> I like things that are fun in the kitchen. Okay, so once that's done, I feel like, yes, I've got it. I'm just gonna pop it open like this. I'm gonna take it right over to my prep area. I'm gonna put my sauce right on top. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I'm gonna put my cheese on top. Yeah. And I'm gonna put some fresh basil because Fancy. of course. And if I wanted to shake that again, even with the sauce in it, of course I would just do a side to side. Sure. Don't flip it upside down. <laughs> Not Could be a messy business, it. yes. Not the sauce in it. But wow. this goes right to the table. So now I prepped my meal and I set it right on the table. I didn't have to have three different items to get to that point. That's what I love about this. $21.95, five flex pay of $4.39. Uh, who do you know that loves being in the kitchen or loves spending time in the kitchen, creating, cooking? Um, this would make a great gift for them if our housewarming present is on the uh, horizon for somebody. This would be wonderful. But I think for you, we all have the old fashioned way of doing things and that's what we're used mm -hmm. to but in our final four minutes before we reveal our birthday surprise I think you're gonna find this really really handy okay what's next so now here I'm prepping a pasta salad so this is where I want to get all of my peppers my salami I want to put a little feta in here maybe I've prepped up some of my tomatoes so as I'm chopping I could be adding these to the bowl right now I'm gonna close my bowl and I'm actually gonna shake it just like this and I don't have to bring out another spoon right because now this is getting everything mixed up in inside. Remember, when I press it down, it actually has feet at the bottom. I'm already mixed. Now I may want to add a little bit of my dressing and then I'm done. My pasta salad's ready to go. If I want to shake it up a little bit more with the dressing in it, I can do that just to get my dressing fully throughout. Again, this is really fun and it's something, look at that. That's a perfect pasta salad. I didn't even use a spoon. Yeah, but, but that is my issue because I am the worst in the kitchen. I'll go through a million different utensils and pots and pans. Yes. Right? It's for, very easy to, get to, to the do. finished product and you and don't then, have to. I clean I cleaned out, tell me if this is you, I cleaned out my dishwasher the other night before I made dinner. Right. I put everything away. Then I made my dinner and my entire sink was full because <laughs> I'm using this spoon for this and this it dish for that. And, this, you know, and it's not the stuff that I'm actually putting out on the table. Sure. So being able to do this, so maybe it's your fresh strawberries. You just went strawberry picking. Summer's great for that. You get your fresh strawberries. You're going to strain them in the same bowl that you're going to present them in. Uh -huh. And if you want them just to be in the refrigerator, you've already cleaned them. You can leave them just like that in the refrigerator. Yeah. Go grab them as needed. Everyone knows that if they're in this bowl, they've already been cleaned. Right, right, right. You exactly. Know? No, it's a fabulous new way, a new thing, a new habit, a new routine to bring into the kitchen. Um, on the way next, our birthday surprise, it is the hottest item from Kitchen HQ. It is just back in stock and we've got the only presentation today. I cannot wait to reveal it to you. You're going to go nuts when you see it. Okay, out of these three colors, the red is actually the best seller. It's a great option. Love that beautiful red. We also have what we're calling plum and then of course our stunning teal as well. 
This is exclusive to HSN. You cannot find it elsewhere. What's it? What's the bottom? Oh, right. Okay. So, so it's one piece. Of dish it's one piece. It's all connected. It's dishwasher safe top rack. It's BPA free, which is really important. So like what I like to do when I'm done is just do a little wipey wipey right here and right here because you were just restraining water out of it. Yeah. But notice, look at the bottom of my sink, by the way. All that stuff that you don't want. Yeah, 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 yeah. It all strained out. Sure it did. And you didn't have to worry. And now that part where the straining happened goes to the bottom. You see how that happens? Yes. So now the bowl that was down in there, that bowl is in there, but that's been rinsed out with the water. I love this. And then those little feet at the bottom, so the little feet up here. So if you had something hot, like how we did our hot pasta, yeah. this will actually sit above your table. So you don't have to worry about Gosh. damaging. You don't have to have a trivet or anything like that. Yeah. It kind of becomes one all in and of itself. You're getting two. That's the point. 16 cup and the 8 cup. You get two, the big and the small. The yeah. big and the small. You get two of them for this one price. Both of these. Thank you for your orders and your calls. Final words on this, Carrie. You know, when you have things that are fun in the kitchen, that are colorful, that do multiple jobs, you'll end up using them more. They're very inspirational. What would you say is the number one use that you're going to get out of this? Out of all these demos that you've fruits. done. Fruits. I mean, for me, it's been fruits and it's also salads. If you want to compose your sure, salad and do sure. like, I like to do chopped salads, you can put everything in there, shake it up, and it's all mixed up. So. It, I mean, I mean, like guys, I started the presentation by saying wash, drain, prep, and store all in one. There That's exactly what you'll be able to do with it. It is brand new for our birthday month. Five flexible payments to celebrate. Uh, we're about to reveal our birthday surprise. Hang on to your hats just before we do <laughs> our today's special, a roaring success. Cast iron, but not like you know it. Cast iron without the heartache and hassle. Uh, hassle, hassle. Uh, cast iron that doesn't behave like traditional cast iron in terms of the bad habits. It works brilliantly with even heat, fast heat in terms of retaining the heat, browning, but this you can put in the dishwasher. This is true non-stick. You get the four quart casserole pan and then the lid that you see there, I can flip that lid over and that becomes my grill pan, lowest price, best price of the entire year. Okay, let's do it, folks. I have been G'd up all night about our birthday surprise. The world has gone gaga for high hydrogenated water. I asked you to Google the benefits of hydrogen water. If you did, you will see lots of comments and statements. People saying it has a positive effect on energy, mm -hmm. on your skin, mm -hmm. a positive effect on the aging process. P quite possibly hydrogenated water is the biggest trend that we're seeing coming out over the past 16, 18, 24 months. The problem with hydrogen water is that it is a fortune. It's very expensive. Yes. Kitchen HQ, a couple months ago, launched the way to do it ourselves in three minutes. Talking of three minutes, it sold out in three minutes or so. It's back in stock tonight, and you are the only one that will get to see it, because it will sell out again. We have our blue or red available. Kerry, I saw the presentation and I was instantly impressed. Yeah. Take us through it from beginning to end, please. It's very intriguing. And when you, and that's what we always like to start off by saying, please Google the effects, you the benefits of hydrogen enriched water. Here's the deal. You say to me, hydrogen, isn't that in H2O? Yes, it is, but it's bound. So when H2O exists, yep. it's hydrogen and oxygen bound. Okay. That means it's doing its job of being water. When hydrogen is then introduced and it's unbound, yep. meaning it doesn't have the oxygen that it's bound with, okay. hydrogen naturally is going to look for something to bind with. Okay. What it looks for, hydrogen, is nature's most powerful antioxidant. Okay. It is looking for free radicals. Okay. So free radicals, if you know from healthcare, from uh, skin care, from all sorts of things, we don't like free radicals. Right. Free radicals are bad. We want to eliminate them. Hydrogen, when it binds with a free radical, neutralizes it. Oh my gosh. So the thing is, first and foremost, 75% of Americans are chronically dehydrated. Yes, and that's are. a startling number, right? Yeah. That means we're not drinking enough. So in and of itself, this is a beautiful water bottle. It's made of a borosilicate glass. It's double walled. So it's not going to have like any, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, sweating, yes, no sweating yes, on the outside. Yeah. Uh, and it's also made of really, really great material. So this is a nice, durable, beautiful glass. I can feel the quality, glass. sure. Now, when you put it together, this is how it looks, it comes apart, so that you can wash this thoroughly, but at the bottom 
bottom is your generator. So this is where the hydrogen is coming from when we press the button. Okay. So that screws onto the bottom. And I want to make a point of saying, because I noticed some people were making comments, make sure it's nice and tight. Yeah. If ever it's not tight, it might leak a little bit. Sure. Obviously, that's because you have to make sure the silicone, the two silicones are touching sure, each other. Sure, indeed. Okay? Makes sense. So at the top, then it is your top, and you screw it on just like this. When it's all nice and tight, you're ready to go. At the front is the only button you have to worry about. This button does a three minute cycle okay. and it'll put approximately 900 parts per billion of free, of an unbound hydrogen into your water. Okay. The back is where you charge it right here. So it's actually coming with the cord. So when you plug it in, that will charge and it'll let you know it's red when you get it, it'll be green when it's charged and it's blue when it's doing a cycle. There are two quick things and then I, I, I promise you, I'm not gonna yabber on. I want you to learn as much about this as you possibly can. I do need to tell you this. If you want blue, I have 20 left. There are 680 in red, but I have 20 left in blue. Just before we continue, I wanna tell you, this here, yeah. hydrogenated water, that. that's $50. Yep. This here is $50. It's the cost of buying our bottle generator by itself. I, I, just, just before we complete this presentation, and guys, it will sell out in the next 10 minutes, there'll be none left. If you Google benefits of hydrogenated water, there are a lot of people saying a lot of things from maybe perhaps the positive effects on skin, mm -hmm. positive effects on the aging process, positive effects perhaps in terms of energy. It's quite remarkable, which is why so many celebrities, movie stars, music stars, health gurus are talking about hydrogenated water. I want you to get in on this because honestly, this could have been a today's special tonight. This is one of the newest, latest, greatest things. We'll take this and make it hydrogenated water water in three minutes. That's right. And we're going to watch you, it happen right before your okay. eyes right now. So notice this says zero. Right. It's been sitting there for a while. It's going to continue to say zero. We could leave it up there for three days. This it's is a normal bottle zero. of water. This is a normal. Now, this is a bottle of water we spend good money for. You may recognize oh, the I bottle. Do, indeed, you yes. know, we go and buy all these waters and, and, and they're fine. They're good waters. The thing is, they don't have free hydrogen in them. If you want hydrogen in your water, you're going to pay a lot of money, sometimes $3, $4, just for one of these. And you may start seeing them in the store. The reason they're becoming popular, a lot of athletes are using them post and pre-workouts uh, for recovery. Um, this is actually something that a lot of celebrities are using. It's a lot of um, having to do with, again, the, the, when you think about pre and post recovery, yeah. it has to do with your muscles, sure, right? And what's sure, going sure. on there. So again, I could leave this all day, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this water, and this is a hydrogen meter, so it's looking for free hydrogen. I'm pouring the same water into our bottle, and I'm gonna press the button. Now it's gonna take a moment, and if we can, if we can lower the lights real quick while that's happening, and then we'll come right back. There you go. First off, it's beautiful. It's blue. And everybody that sees you with this bottle, it's going to be a talking piece. But notice how you can start to see it almost looks like bubbles, but yes. it's actually not bubbles. This is the hydrogen that's actually going into your water. Now, understand the way that this works, the free hydrogen will last around 30, 45 minutes, I'd say max an hour. Okay. And then you'd want to do another cycle. Okay. Okay. Because if you don't drink it in that time, and that's right. why we made our bottle about 10 ounces, because that you need to drink it quickly. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that to get the benefits, the best benefits, you're going to drink it quickly. Now let's bring back up the lights since you can kind of see what's happening. And that same exact water, I'm now going to put that hydrogen meter that you saw. Again, same water. We saw it doing its thing. Now you see how it's kind of getting like this color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will taste so good. It's not doing anything weird to the color. It'll actually go back to clear, clear after sure. the process. But now we're not through a full three minute process. But when I place my meter, there we go, inside of there, we're going to wait just a second. Let's see to get it going. Camo meter, there she goes. That's measuring the hydrogen. It went in the from zero. Same water that we just had in the bottle. This is gonna go after the three minute cycle, it'll be at about 900 parts per billion. So understand that is free hydrogen that is going to look for radicals, okay, to neutralize. And if you don't want free radicals roaming around, this is how you do it. So, that's, go ahead. Sorry, they're just That's a blue's okay. gone. I blue, know, you're I, like, I, 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 blue, blue's gone. Blue's gone. Okay. Guys, this is, I, I just, I don't even understand. I want you to taste this. Can I, yeah, was, that was my next thing. And you could totally do it while it's from, doing a from, process. From here I yeah, can taste totally it? Yeah, it's totally fine. That's clean. Okay. Only my hands have been on it. Mm. <laughs> so I want you to. Tastes great. 
It's almost gonna, it's gonna taste exactly like water. It's gonna taste almost a little thinner. Yes. Um, like almost like a little, it seems like cleaner or something, which it, is kind of weird. It's and it's not that it, it is, but it just, it has this thinness to it. Hydrogen is actually the smallest particle in the periodic table, uh -huh. um, which means it actually hydrates you at a molecular level. It's actually going straight to hydration. And, and, and the quickness of that is again, why athletes like in Japan and Korea, yeah. they've been using this for over 10 years. Like this has been a big deal. I, 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 this, I mean, really, it's tragic that we only have this few of these. And I, the only upsetting thing is that it's already taken three or four months to get this back in from it selling out the last time. Oh, it will be that. completely fully reserved in the next four or five minutes. There will be none left. Let's talk for just a second why people are spending $50 on it. Uh, 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 guys, just, you get a straight. Yeah. This, is, this is $50. For 12 of these, $50. For 12 of these, $50. So once you've bought these, that would be it. And most hydrogen generators on the marketplace are in the hundreds of dollars. That's what I was gonna say. We were able to get it for you through Kitchen HQ at a price of $50, which means you would have just, it, and you know, people do, are doing these all the time because they're feeling those benefits. Mm -hmm. The thing is, if you could stop there yeah. and have a bottle that regenerates it for you over and over and over and over again, doesn't that make a lot more sense, obviously? But what's <laughs> amazing beautiful. is your point, Kerry, because we've got a few different groups of people here. Yeah. There are athletes that swear by hydrogenated water for recovery, pre-workout, post-workout. There are more mature folks mm -hmm. that are seeing and hearing about the benefits of what people are suggesting. People are saying that it has a, and can have a positive effect on energy levels, energy levels. People are saying that it can have a positive effect on the appearance of our skin. People are saying it has a positive effect when it comes to the aging process. You know, we're talking fighting free radicals. If you're gonna drink water, you would wanna drink hydrogenated water. Now, I wanna go back to what you said, Carrie. Yeah, yeah. I can go to the grocery store, there's a million different bottles of water. Yeah. You're telling me they don't have these? No, and well, and if they do, some health food stores have hydrogen uh, like this. They but, have the but waters, but not the, the hydrogen. The majority. No, yeah, the majority don't, no. All the common brands that yeah. you and I buy does not have it. Does not have free unbound hydrogen. So the free unbound hydrogen that you're finding here, so now I'm gonna do, this one is the one that I just started, this is the one you drink. Yes, yes. So I'm gonna go over here to this one. So this one we started, I'm gonna show you one more time. This measures hydrogen, so unbound hydrogen. Yeah. So if we're talking about you know, um, again, H2O is bound. So hydrogen and, and that are actually doing their job together. So when I have this here, we're at our zero. Oh, hold on, let me get him back. <laughs> hold on, I gotta reset this. Okay, we're resetting. Four minutes left, everybody. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, here we go. So now we're resetting. So and when I set this here, what will happen? Let's make sure we get back to our zero. I'm on the wrong thing. Don't stress, don't stress. It's, it's late at it's night. It's a meter. It's a, come on, meter, come on. Scientist. Don't fail me now. Oh, I know, right? Here we go. Okay, we're okay. good. Let me make sure we're all clear at the bottom. We've got some fancy tools around here. A hydrogen this is meter, a very, everybody. Yes, I know, and I'm trying to get it to reset itself. Okay, here With we go. everybody on the phone, fewer now than 200 left. Fewer than 200 left. You've got a 30-day return policy, the lowest price ever. A big, big deal. You've got to feel the effects. So many people say the positive effects are extraordinary. If you want to be healthier, this is the way to do it. I promise I didn't break the hydrogen meter. This is the <laughs> one time I, I didn't I, break it. I got it on the wrong setting, that's okay. why. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. It just, here we here go. Here we go, here we go. I'm just making sure it's not blinking, because when it's blinking. Is it blinking? Don't so blink. I think, is it blinking? It's yeah, blinking. it's blinking. Okay. I got it on the wrong thing. Don't worry, Mom. Show us I'm gonna the, set it one more time. Show us the fizz, show us the blue. Okay, so here's what happens. So when you see it like this and it's cloudy, what that means is that it's actually gone through a cycle. The hydrogen is placed in there. It's not going to make it taste weird. Right. Okay, it's gonna actually settle after a few minutes. So we did a full cycle on this it's one. Clear when again. When we first started the presentation, you see it's clear again. So the hydrogen's been placed inside. It will clear out. You want to try to drink this within about, I'd say if you can, 30 minutes. 45 minutes is fine. Definitely an hour's at the end. Okay, so you okay. start to lose those parts per billion of 
of, of the hydrogen and yeah. the hydrogen will start to dissipate. So you'll just want to press it again. And again, it's so simple. You just press the button. It'll go blue. It'll go off look, automatically look. when it's done with a three minute cycle. So you see that it's actually placing the hydrogen in there right now. And it's cool because you can see it and it's not, it's not um, carbonated. It's yes. not, it's yes. not, you know, it's, it's actually just the hydrogen going into the bottle. And that's, what's creating kind of that, that cloudy look for a minute. Yeah. The taste is exactly like regular water, just almost like a little thinner um, because again, hydrogen is the smallest element on the periodic table. So it's very, very tiny. So it actually can seep in a lot faster. Uh, what I think I'm stunned about is that the other hydrogen generators out there that I've seen are, are upwards of hundreds of dollars. Like a couple, I saw one at 199. Yes. This is at 49. We're getting questions about the extra box. Bottle. We have extra yes. bottles available for under 20 bucks, but there's only 30 left if you want the extra bottle. So, and there's the accessory set. Yeah, this comes with it. So you you get, remember I showed you that glass at the beginning? So if you take off the top and the bottom, it's the glass piece in the middle, and then it comes with this cool little neoprene carrier. So protect your glass, right? So you can put that in there, and it's a nice little protector. It gives you actually this and an extra charger. Fabulous. Okay? Fabulous. So if you want to do that extra, that can be nice that if you want to like put that in the dishwasher yeah. or something like that and take the other one with you, that's great. But remember, the idea is we already don't drink enough water, yeah. right? So this is getting you to have something that's very classy because I love the way it looks and I love the way it feels. Um, it is glass, so be careful with it because it's it's a borosilicate it's glass, stuff, though, sure, but it's a sure. good glass. And I prefer drinking out of glass. I don't want to drink out of aluminum and no, I don't want to drink no, out of plastic. No. That's just me. So I love that this is glass. So it'll last you a long time. It'll give you that benefit of hydrogen and so, oh, in charging, yeah. you don't have to charge it like every day. Okay. So I usually with mine, it's usually between a week to two weeks that I have to charge mine. So just make sure it goes green. Let it charge long enough that you see the green light. That means it's fully charged. Okay. Good information. Fabulous information. What we would have shown you, for those that were watching at the beginning, saw we took regular bottles of water and it had a zero rating in terms of the hydrogen. We put the thing through the process it took less than three minutes and we saw the amazing result that number went from back. zero way up there i mean really incredible hydrogenated water it is the latest craze and for such good reason uh, you can look, look, look there you she see goes. it you see it there she goes the power of the hydrogen <laughs> give it a go i think you'll love it carrie thank you thank so, you so much. much absolutely less Enjoy than it. 50 left this will not be seen again grab yours where you can thank you for watching on the way right now our best buy of the